BTC ETH trade higher after US October jobs data. European Union delays vote on Mika crypto legislation until February. Proposed UK rules will make advertising crypto a lot harder, industry wars. OKX token jumps 25% as crypto exchange opens shops in Bahamas. Fidelity to launch Bitcoin and Ethereum trading for retail investors. Monkey drainer scammer strikes again steals $800,000 of NFTs. Yuga Labs to launch Metaverse NFT open standards. Style Protocol makes the first Clonex NFT interoperable in three metaverses. World-renowned music icon Bjork to perform in Decentraland Metaverse Music Festival 2022. Centrifuge raises $4 million funding round. Hello and welcome to 3 Auto TV. I am Vishakha Thakur. I am Ruchi Sharma. Cryptocurrency markets were trading higher after US weekly jobless claims fell. Layoffs picked up in October. The number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits unexpectedly fell last week, suggesting the labor market remained strong despite slowing domestic demand amid stiff interest rate hikes from the Federal Reserve to tame inflation. The US beat the expectations in terms of new farm jobs reaching 261,000 such positions in October rather than the estimated 205,000. But coin reacted with immediate price fluctuations, dropping by a few hundred dollars before shooting up to a five-day high but faced stiff resistance near $21,000 levels. But coin's price uh, first dropped from $20,700 to $20,400 before surging to $20,900. This became the asset's highest price tag since last Sunday. With the midterm elections right around the corner, Bitcoin could be headed for another volatile week soon, analysts said. So Bitcoin was seen trading up 3.5% at $20,930, while Ethereum was up 6% at $1,640. IC15 index of cryptocurrencies was up 4% at 31,800 points. Moving on, the European Union's lawmakers will not vote on the markets in crypto asset regulation until February, implying that the landmark licensing regime for crypto companies within the European Union will be further delayed. Given the length and complexity of the text, a previous tentative plan for the parliament to vote on it during its December plenary session has been scrapped. The legislative framework, which establishes reserve requirements for stablecoins to avoid a Terra USD style collapse, was approved in June, with the final text published in October. Moving on, the UK could make it difficult for crypto companies to advertise to clients within its borders if a new proposed bill is passed into law. On Thursday, lawmakers on the Committee for the Financial Services and Markets Bill, which could also end up legally recognizing crypto as financial instruments, approved an amendment to a markets bill to regulate crypto ads and promotions. However, crypto advocates feel the rule may be too restrictive for a country that said it wants to support the digital asset industry. They worry crypto firms would have to jump through many hoops when trying to advertise to local customers, facing high costs from having to rely on an authorized entity to approve adverts. Moving on, OKX, the world's second largest crypto exchange by volume and a leading Web3 platform, today announced its registration as a digital asset business in the Bahamas under the newly adopted Digital Asset and Registered Exchange Act. AOKB, the native token of the crypto exchange OKX, has surged nearly 25% over the past 24 hours and reached a new monthly high of $22.15. The company has also opened an office in Nassau, the capital of the island country, with plans to hire at least 100 people. OKX selected the Bahamas as a strategic growth location because of the effective regulatory framework created by the Securities Commission of the Bahamas. Moving on, American multinational financial services Fidelity Investments launches Bitcoin and Ethereum trading activities for retail investors. According to the reports, the company plans to provide a commission-free cryptocurrency trading platform. 
Currently, Fidelity Investment handles over $9.9 trillion in assets and the firm also recorded a revenue of $24 billion in 2021. Recent reports reveal the company will offer Bitcoin and Ethereum investment through its new cryptocurrency service. The new platform called Fidelity Crypto will allow retail investors to trade Bitcoin and Ethereum. Users must have a minimum account of $1 before they can access the trading services. The trading services will be available through Fidelity Digital Assets, a subsidiary of Fidelity Investments. Moving on, notorious non-fungible token scammer Monkey Drainer has stolen $800,000 worth of CryptoPunk and other side NFTs according to blockchain sleuth Zach XBT. The hack was the second in as many weeks within the prolific phishing scammer swindling $1 million worth of crypto and NFTs on October 25th. This time, the wallet tagged as Monkey Drainer stole seven CryptoPunks and 20 other side NFTs before flushing their ill-gotten gains through anonymous coin mixer Tornado Cash, as reported by blockchain security firm PeckShield. Moving on, the Bored Ape Yacht Club creators are hard at work on open standards to enable NFTs to migrate between other side and other metaverses. Bored Ape Yacht Club owner Yuga Labs wants to build a truly interoperable metaverse, one that is going to allow for you to be able to play as whatever character it is that you are, said Yuga Labs CEO Nicole Muniz. The goal is ultimately to create an open world in which everyone is able to have a shared fun experience, she added. Moving on, Style Protocol, the cross metaverse interoperability platform, has announced that they have made the first Clonex NFT interoperable in three metaverses. Style Protocol aims to bring monetization, utilization and interoperability to any virtual asset in any game, metaverse or virtual world. Style Protocol has made history by bridging the Clonex NFT hashtag 6773 into Decentraland, Somnium Space and Monaverse. This is a massive moment for the NFT space, the Clonex community and for Style Protocol themselves. They are now the only company to have bridged two of the most successful blue chip NFT projects into a combined seven worlds. Style Protocol's vision is to become the go-to multiverse backbone that helps maximize the utility and value of smart digital assets and virtual goods. Moving on, presented by Kraken, the second annual Metaverse Music Festival will host 15 stages with more than 150 artists across every music genre. The festival will be held from November 10 to 13 and it's free for all to attend with no tickets or VR headset required. Bayok will host the world premiere of her latest music video, Sorrowful Soil, during her time on stage, among other surprises for her fans. Sounder is proud to announce it will be adding the English Ethiopian songwriter Izzy Bizu to their stage. Platinum Award winning country artist and songwriter Breland will make his Metaverse debut during the festival. His performance for the festival was filmed for a sold out crowd at the garage in London. The digital asset platform Kraken will release its iconic collection of variables during their special after party that will feature an infinite NFT gallery. Moving on, Centrifuge, a New York based provider of a DeFi protocol for blockchain based financing of real world assets, has raised $4 million in funding. Coinbase Ventures led the round with L1 Digital and SciTail also participating. The funds will be used to expand the company's development efforts. Centrifuge is a decentralized asset financing protocol led by CEO Lucas Vogelsang, whose platform enables a model for connecting investors and borrowers with bankless liquidity. The company integrates off-chain assets into DeFi, allowing a variety of businesses to obtain financing without the use of banks or other third-party intermediaries. That's all in this bulletin for now. This is Ruchi Sharma signing off. This is me, Vishakha Thakur, signing off. For more such updates, keep watching 3.0 TV.